Hello everyone, and welcome back to Creeper World. Uh, we are entering a new system. I guess I see no reason why we shouldn't just jump right into Demo World. Hi guys, I, uh, this was the map created for a demo of how to create a map. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I guess this was just like, uh, they, they did a tutorial and this was what they came up with. Okay, then I guess what I'm going to do is kill the uh, kill that to start with and I think that's the only one so let's get our collector economy going as well uh, so yeah I'm gonna get this started and then I'll uh, I'll be right back okay we've gotten this started so I guess I'm going to well actually I should fill that in a little bit more before I start making reactors Ooh, I don't like the way that's shaping up. Um, we've got one uh, uh, totem connected. I can't reach that one, can I? No, that's too far away. I figured as much, and let's see if maybe I can, if I can keep this clear, maybe I can snipe that other null or the emitter as well. Uh, that would be nice. Just reduce the amount of creeper on the map. Cool. One down. I'm going to evacuate the low ground. In fact, I think I'm going to just keep these two deactivated for now. We'll use them later because right now I just need to hold my ground and build up my economy if I can. Okay, uh, I've got myself a little more established now. Attacking the low ground is going to be difficult, I think. Uh, because there are quite a number of emitters there. Well, I don't know, because I've already got an area that stayed pretty clear this whole time. So if I attack from one of those directions, maybe that'll... Uh, that'll make it easy. I guess let's give it a shot. Oh no! Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Well, that's a, that's a good start, I guess. Let's uh, try and keep it up. And how close? No, not quite. How about that? I think that'll do it. Cool. Uh, let's get one of those. Uh, that may have been a bad idea, actually. Okay, once the nullifier went down, we uh, we were doing okay. That's good. Okay, I think this area should be able to be kept clear long enough for that nullifier. So, that is good. Let's get our economy going on that. And let's see if we can secure that power zone. I think they're called power zones from my research from the wiki. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep keep that in mind, but I'm more than likely to forget. So apologies, but I think that's what their official name is, from what I can tell. Okay, that one up there is down. Good. Let's get that one going to start clear that up. I think we should probably get... Uh, well, let's actually use the Bertha to clear that out, because it's already got quite a puddle on it right now. And I think... Hmm... I think that may have been a mistake, actually. Let's, let's do that. In fact, let's actually do that, just to make sure we cut it off. I don't know why this creeper receded so fast, but I will try and take advantage of that. I've also decided to try and cut off... Uh, well, I think if I keep the uh, emitters suppressed, that should be enough. My only concern is I don't know if this thing is emitting. Because if it is, then that's not going to be enough to cut off the digitalis and 
kill it off. Uh, but I guess we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But I think that uh, that is probably going to be the biggest threat. Uh oh. Aside from me just losing stuff. Speaking of which, how do I? That that looks good. If I can just keep that back, then that should be good. These are going up slowly. Oh, well, this is taking some damage. I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention to know if that was from the mortar or what, but I need more money, apparently. More income. Okay, this emitter down here has now been taken out. So I'm actually going to use this to plonk down a reactor just to help our energy problems out a little bit. Okay, that is enough. That's good. Now that I got three Berthas on it, that'll hopefully slow them down quite a lot. And now we can... I think I'm going to go north first. And then we'll swing around and hit that runner nest from behind. Well, actually, I might just be able to hit it now. Because uh, there is plenty of room on this second level now that we've uh, cleared it out some more. Excellent. I'm actually I'm going to start making progress towards there, but I don't know how quickly that's going to happen. So I guess I'll check back in in a minute. Okay, hopefully that'll take out the runner nest. That'll make our lives a heck of a lot easier. And this side I actually haven't made too much progress on. It's because I've been trying to build up my uh, relay infrastructure to get that going a little bit more efficiently. Efficiently, ah. Uh. Okay, uh, the runners may slow it down a lot, but they will take that out eventually, so I'm pleased with that. And we can keep moving up in this direction. Excellent. That is taken care of. If I can keep that clear, well, let's see if, we, if that's even in range. I don't think it is. No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, if we can keep the keep it clear of Digitalis, though, then we should be fine. Because uh, the runners will eventually die out from not being on Digitalis if we clear it all out. Cool. Now it's just this guy up here. And the Digitalis is proving to be rather stubborn, actually. So I've now got a bunch of Berthas trained on it, including some on the... Uh, power zones and I think from there it'll just be a matter of time but perhaps quite a bit of time unfortunately I guess all we can do is give it a go wait no don't want to do that it is in range and uh, no mm, nope Nope, nope. Apparently not enough in range. I'm just gonna get rid of these because if I need them, I can rebuild them. If not, then I guess I just don't want to worry about them. Okay, so this is now the last emitter. And I can place them in place uh, a nullifier in range. But it's going to be a little difficult because of uh, the, I think it's the height difference actually, so maybe if I put down a turret, maybe I can do it then. Let's do that and that. In fact, why don't we put it on the power zone once it builds. Whoops, on the power zone. Okay, that should be good enough, and now we do that. Right, okay. And now that one is able to fire directly into the emitter. There we go. I hope. 
It's looking good. Yay! Okay, good. That went well. I guess next one will be hopping. That's probably... It looks like it's not too bad. The biggest difference will, or difficulty will be obviously hopping across the islands. Welcome back to the next simulation map. This map is simulation number that big number. Please enjoy. What if I don't wanna? Oh! Uh, Kane, I need a status report of this world. That's not Kane, that's Leah. This world is fittingly titled Hopping. It has several different islands which have some sort of enemy presence. According to the scanners, the best place to land would be the bottom left area because the emitter appears to be damaged and won't start until 60 seconds after we land. Thank you, Kane. I will proceed with caution. Simulation commencing. Okay. Uh, then let's... Yeah, I was... As I was scoping around, it did look like... I, honestly, it looked like this would be the easiest one anyway because it gave us a starting platform, but that also makes sense. So I'm going to um, just nullify everything to start with. Get that squared away, and then also an economy. Ooh, that sounds weird. Oof! I had cut that a little close, admittedly, but that's fine. Are there any beam towers? There appears to be an beam tower, a single one. So I'm going to do that. Presumably that'll give me enough range to land over here. Yeah, good. Uh, so then we will get a reactor here because that should be good enough. And then I'm going to uh, get my economy based purely on uh, reactors ASAP. Okay, so I've got my reactor economy going. Let's see if we can clear out a landing zone. In fact, well, let me... no. I thought maybe it'll let me build Thors, but unfortunately not. Uh, the Earth might still be good for clearing out a landing zone, though. Eh? Oh, ah, oh, dang it. That's fine. Oh no, that's less fine. Okay, uh, let's try that again, but uh, better. Okay, attempt number two. Eh? I think I've got enough there that they've cleared enough of the, the stuff. Yeah, okay, good. Great. Now we've got ourselves established. Um, are there... There are area denial towers, which is unfortunate. But we might... I was thinking maybe I could use strafers anyway, but I don't... At the very least, I might be able to use them to clear... Uh, like, clear digitalis or something like that. But honestly, I feel like I could use the space a bit better. So... Why bother? Cool. Thankfully, this one's been pretty straightforward so far. Uh, I did end up getting some Berthas on this platform. Uh, just to, like I said, just to help clear out uh, a landing zone at the very least. And it does seem to be working, especially now that I've got a relatively big battery going. Although it has cost me uh, quite a large amount of reactors that I've had to get. Um, the runners are also being kind of annoying, so I'm trying to make these nests my, my top priority, but that I think is going to end up being uh, a little difficult because of where exactly they are, but I think I can do it. I just need to, um, to be a little careful about where I, where I go. I wonder if they can stun my, my command center. Man node. Probably not, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What What's it going to do if they don't? Or if they can? Like, I just temporarily knock one of my buildings offline? 
Like I, it's it's all connected in one network right now, so it's it's not gonna not gonna hurt too much no matter what. So yeah, might as well do a test. See what we can find out. Okay, yeah, they don't seem to be able to or inclined to stun my command node, so I guess that's all right. Um, this this one hero pulse cannon is trying its darndest, but I don't think it's gonna last much longer. Yeah, poor guy. I appreciate your sacrifice, though. You did uh, end up allowing us. I'll, yeah, you did allow us to take that uh, take that emitter out. So, thank you. That was very very good of you. All right, this island is now clear. I've got my Berthas firing at this uh, this section. In fact, I think I could I could do that better if I do something like that. That'll probably do us a bit more good. And uh, at least in terms of the digitalis, actually, now that I think about it, because uh, some of those we could probably use for this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, can I? Yes, I can, in theory. Uh, I think that's a little easier said than done, unfortunately. Was there, was there an ore mine? Did I absentmindedly build on top of an ore deposit? I don't think so. But I wouldn't put it past myself. I've done some silly things in the past, but it doesn't look like it. I don't think there are any ore deposits or um, totems here. That's going to make things a little difficult. Um, I'll have to figure out another way to clear out, uh, clear out this island. I decided to go with strafers to help me out because this area is actually it doesn't have any uh, air exclusion towers so I'm hoping that the 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 ammo here will last long enough for me to get some stuff over oh that was a little close <laughs> but I think we did it all right excellent um, I guess I'll just take whatever targets I can actually that's a good spot. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, perhaps I ought to bring some of my mortars over as well. Just to get a little bit of extra firepower. Ugh. Yeah, this is awfully close. Okay, so I think I'm going to have my Bertha's fire on on those emitters and really slow them down. Oh no! I didn't realize that was out of range. Okay, let's give that a try. Success! We did it! Okay, good. Now, um, you guys shoot over there. You guys shoot over there. Um, I am going to... Get more mortars? I don't know. I think Bertha's might actually be a better choice if I place them correctly. Nope. Again, place them correctly. Because uh, that's just uh, more firepower helping us uh, establish those landing zones, etc. This is going quite well. Okay, good. I am pleased with this. This is good progress. Cool. So, uh, with the help of my upgraded... I, I decided I'd swap this one out for a relay just so I can establish this connection that much easier. And now this is the last runner nest, I think, and the last uh, air exclusion tower. So, yeah, this is going pretty well. And I think from here on out, it'll basically be a pretty straightforward clearing. Except, I suppose, for this, because all the entrances to this island that are like reachable from another island are all covered by Digitalis. So that could be a problem. Uh, I'll let you know if it ends up being a problem, but we'll have to see. Ugh, finally. No more having to deal with those runners. That, I think, is my favorite part. 
because uh, that the runners have been just, they're always a nuisance. They're always, always, always just needlessly annoying. Oh well. Um, in fact, why don't we tell them just target whatever you like. I think we're in a position where we can afford to do that. And then we need more stuff killing the Digitalis, though. I want to use that... Oh, no! Uh, I was going to say, I want to use that the power zone to clear... Uh, to put a nullifier on there, but I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. I think I'm just going to do that. And some of that. Yeah, that should do it. Cool. And then they will also start clearing out the Digitalis behind it. While I'm here, I suppose I might as well take out that other nullifier. Since that seems to be doing pretty well as well. What? I I lost something? Oh, I lost a null. I lost the one I just placed! Dang it. In fact, why don't we take you and... Ah, okay. I see it flowing over now. That's the problem. Okay, fine. We will... Um actually be good <laughs> and secure secure our position I guess <laughs> but I don't wanna I wanna Blitzkrieg speaking of which uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to handle this at present but I'll figure something out I'm sure especially once this gets taken out and all the births can start targeting that in fact why, why are you still there why don't you... Why don't you build a Bertha? And join in the fun. I think I might end up doing a guppy-based thing. I don't like using guppies, but I think they might be the best option right now. Uh, just because... Well, we don't really have many other options with the Digitalis recovering as quickly as it does. Uh, I, I kind of need to establish something quickly. And the only way to do that, I can't really... I was thinking of making a, a bridge somewhere in here in the, in the time the Digitalis is cleared. I just don't know if I could do that very easily. In fact, is there even a, a place that... Okay, so... Let me try... Um, not doing that. <laughs> Instead, we'll... We'll have the Bertha's focus on that one particular spot, and we'll see if we can establish something. But I'm not keeping my hopes up. I'll report back in a minute. Yeah, uh, as soon as I stopped letting the, the Bertha's handle it, the Digitalis immediately spread and wrecked me in the face. So I think that is uh, not an option. So... I'm going to go with Plan Guppy. I was going to say Plan G, but that makes it sound like I've actually tried other things, <laughs> which I have not. This is this is my second my second idea. Speaking of which, um uh okay, I think I I'm going to have to actually like focus on reconnecting all my stuff because I did a big oopsie and I I must I must correct it. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so my guppies have landed. My pulse cannons are sitting there useless because they're in a cave, but that's fine. Cave? That's not a cave. That's a... You know what it is. Crater. That's the word. I... Do, I'm not really sure how exactly I want to proceed. I do think... I had a turp somewhere, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, here you are. Uh, hello? Oh, my mouse has died. Man, my, my connection port on my computer is kind of stupid and dumb. And so sometimes the mouse just gets disconnected, unfortunately. So, what I'm going to do is... We're going to figure out what level this is at. That's at... Nope. That is at 10. Okay. And then we are going to make a little platform. And we will place that nullifier right on that happy little platform. In fact... Why even bother with those when they are obviously not doing anything? 
Let's just go with mortars. Okay, our platform is ready. Oh, come back, strafers. I want you guys to just keep the area suppressed while we take out this this thingy. Emitter, that's the word. Yeah, I'm thinking I should probably uh, call it after this episode. But still, we got two levels done. That was pretty good. Um, that's, that's excellent. I imagine that's too far for even an upgraded relay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. How exactly I want to go about dealing with that, though, is another question entirely. I think I'm going to do basically the same thing, but over here. Where we, um... We make a platform because we do seem to be able to keep the creeper from spreading beyond the digitalis. So as long as we stay off the digitalis, we should be fine. Oh, I think I think we might have enough now to enough firepower to just f if we keep focusing on just the emitters. Maybe that'll be enough to clear out the digitalis. I just switched to the... I switched the... Uh, strafers. Uh, onto that emitter on a whim. And that proved to be a good idea. Because now it showed that we can... Ooh! We can just get our... Uh, our thingy. <sighs> I'm, I'm losing my command of the English language. No, no, no! Stop it! Stop! I insist that you cease! Uh, whatever. You you know what I mean. Where um, I changed the strafers and all the digitalis disappeared. Hooray! Finally! It took me about a year, but I finally got that sentence out. Okay, and now this is apparently all connected to the network. I think I want to keep the guppies just in case, because that connection is... Uh, it seems a little unstable. So I'm not going to get rid of the guppies just in case I need them. It's not like they're hurting us. So... Yeah, we'll let that do its thing. Let's move up some artillery. And I think that should be close enough for us to throw down the last nullifier. Nope. Apparently not. Let's try it again. Yeah, now they're getting ammo. Okay, good. Um, so let's have all the Berthas shoot over there now. Uh, that doesn't actually help us out, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff back here. So I don't worry about micromanaging it. Eh? Eh, awesome. Wow, we've done 67 levels already. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I think the next episode will do these two levels. And I will... I, I think I should probably point out that I did try out this level. In fact, let's just take a quick look at it so you can see how awful it is. Um, you can see I had a save file on there. So you start off with this big fat base, which is good because these emitters are on galactic level steroids. I don't know if you can see that, but that's amount 2000 and interval 0 0.03. So it's putting out 2,000 units of creeper, whatever that amounts to, every three hundredths of a second. <laughs> so it is extremely difficult to make any progress on this map. And I have to admit, I'm thinking about just doing it off camera because it is the sloggiest slog we've seen so far. It's a nightmare. It's, I can't make a dent in this level. Um, 
but maybe if I can find, if I can get it, if I can get the footage, I will, I promise. But if not, <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I'm just letting you know this sucks and I hate it and I don't want to do it. <laughs> but um, we'll worry about that later. Uh, yeah. For now, like I said, we're, we're going to finish this system here, uh, the one we were in a minute ago. We'll do uh, the start and the name, I guess, on, uh, on the next episode. So until then, see you later.